Hi everyone and welcome to Nonsense Whiskey, episode 14 with me, Vim PF. Now, uh, this week I've got a, a lovely announcement to make that I have just hit 100 subscribers on YouTube. And um, because of that, I've now cracked open my personalised t-shirts, polo shirts that I had made in Coventry. And uh, very happy to be now finally wearing them and I'll probably be wearing these every time and whenever I go to shows and whatever. Because uh, it's all about the brand, No Nonsense Whiskey, there we go. So. Um, Friends of my Twitter feed will know I, I suggested that I might be doing a bit of a English whiskey theme over the next few weeks. Uh, that will be things like the Lakes Distillery, which I have done a review of recently. Um, I've got a sample of their gin to do. Um, I've got the English, which I'm going to do today. Um, I have another Lakes um, special edition that I'm going to give a go at, and I've also got a Cotswolds pack that I'm going to go through at some point. Um, so all good stuff coming up, great time to hit that subscribe button, um, always appreciated and I'm very humbled with everybody who is enjoying my video so far. So uh, with that said, let's move on to today's review and that is the English, which is the new rebranded whiskies from the St George's Distillery and the English Whiskey Company. First opened in 2006, uh, they've been releasing their whiskey steadily since 2009 in the form of chapters. So whenever they do something new, whenever they try something different, they've done a new chapter. Uh, I first tried a St George's Distillery chapter three or four years ago at a festival and um, honestly I wasn't blown away by it. It, uh, it tasted young, it um, was expensive for what it was in my opinion um, and I was just kind of opening my eyes to the world of whiskey, uh, the greater world, and there was uh, just much better on, on offer, um, which is a bit of a shame, and it kind of put me off English whiskey for a while, and I decided not, not to check it out again, because um, I didn't have much opportunity other than buying bottles. Uh, but that said, I, I now have a, a bit more money to throw around, so when they released these rebranded, I uh, went on the website and bought a bottle. Why not? Um, it comes in two varieties, that's the original and the smoky variety. Didn't buy the smoky, might buy the smoky, we'll see. Um, I, I keep telling myself I'm not a fan of smoky whiskies, but all the smoky ones I've had recently I've relatively enjoyed, so maybe I should get a bowl. Now uh, this one has been sat in the glass for a little bit, so I'm going to go straight in and see what we smell. As you can see, I've, I've only literally just opened it, I received it a couple of days ago, so I haven't spent much time with it, but um, I, think, I think it's enough. Now, you get a lot of malt from it, it's pleasurable malt, it's like, it reminds me of actually standing in a distillery. If you haven't been to a distillery and you're watching these videos, I implore you to go to a distillery. If you're English, there's now three to choose from. Um, my nearest is the Cotswolds, been down there, um, I haven't been to the other two yet, they're a bit too far away and I've also been to one in Scotland, I know I've only been to two, shame, but if you haven't been, go, it's well worth your time. And it smells fantastic, it smells just like this, the new, the, uh, new make spirit kind of smell. This is bottled at 43% so watered down somewhat but it still smells like all that floral malty smell you get from a new make. Mm, really nice. Kind of subtle vanillas I guess. Okay, I'm gonna go in for a quick taste. I mean you're getting that malt again. Absolutely fantastic. I wanna say Fruity, it's a bit fruity, maybe maybe even virgin on those um, little uh, tropical sweet chews you used to eat when you were kids. I forget what they were called. Comments below. Not the rhubarb and custard ones, there were the other ones. There was, there was the uh, blackjacks and, and t'other. Fruit salad. Fruit salads. That's it. Mm. Oh, I can't believe it. Yeah, definitely. It tastes like fruit salad. Bit of vanilla ice cream, maybe. Oh, it says that on the back of the box. That's a cheating. 
I mean, in comparison to what I thought I tried all them years ago, for three, well, all them years, three or four years ago, either my tastes have changed or this has just surpassed it immensely. fantastic I mean it's no added color non chill filtered all that malarkey colors not anything to write home about it's nice nicely kind of lemony lemony honey kind of you know I, I like my dark rich rich whiskies but the color doesn't matter when it tastes great and this does so there's no smoke at all just molten fruit it's like it's not ridiculously complex but it's not as simple as something like the Glenfiddich 12 year that we've seen before which is just like drink yep nice move on this one I could do, I think I could enjoy well I mean for the limited time I've had with it I really like that. This retails for something like £30 a bottle, which is an absolute snippet. When you look when you think about what's in the supermarkets now, for example, I've got a um, Hakushu Stillers Reserve downstairs. £45 in the one supermarket in my area that I can get it in. Fair enough, it's come from Japan, but if you can, if you factor out the shipping costs to get it over here, all that malarkey then I think this wins out. Sub 15 quid. The two bottles right in front of me, I'd buy this again, definitely. Well, I think it's a good intro to uh, English whiskey for sure. I know we haven't got much else um, at the moment. The Cotswolds is just under a year away and the Lakes Distillery has maybe got a year and a half to go until they're releasing three year old stuff. So these guys are on bit of rudimentary maths on like seven years or something like that now uh, seven years released so it'd be ten years could be could well be ten year whiskey in this and um, it shows it shows it's way better than what I tried in the festival and um, I would definitely recommend having a look at it uh, I think you can only get it on the internet unless you are lucky enough to live next to it in Norfolk but yeah there you go English whiskey. Um, we're going to be doing a few more bits and bobs with English whiskey, as I said at the beginning of the show. So uh, subscribe to the channel, and we'll get those out next week, week after that sort of thing. Thursday reviews, Monday little little videos if I can. And uh, like and subscribe, comment, all that stuff, and join me on Twitter, Facebook, all those things. So that's the end of the video, and I'll see you again on No Nonsense Whiskey. <laughs>